Hey everyone, welcome back to Web Squadron. I'm Imran Sadiq, and we're going to go over Elemental's text editor. A common problem that annoys the life out of me and a lot of other people is how once you add some text in, you're very methodical with it, there's this extra spacing at the bottom. It's like an extra return, and depending on how you make your website look, it can be quite annoying, and you're going to spend time trying to get around it. And I'm going to show you how you can get rid of it for free using Elemental. Okay, I hope you're excited about this, but let's first investigate exactly what the problem is. So I'm just going to go over and drop text editor in. Here we go. And I'm just going to put the fonts to be dark, like that. So what I've got is one section with some red uh, styling. I've got a, one column with white background, just so you can clearly see the problem. And instantly, even though we've got lorem ipsum, we've got this extra return here. Can you see that? Let me just make the point again. If I go over to content and I copy it over this text, and after the very last word, Leo, I just do one return, paste the text in again, and at the bottom there, on the second paragraph, I'm just gonna put hit delete. But look, there is a line, it is there. and you know, argh, go away, I don't like it. And a lot of people, this annoys you because look, let's just look at this page now. Can you see that? You've got, the, it just looks like you haven't got your padding or whatever right. What some people tend to do is they start to sometimes mess around with that by going into their margins. So they might go over here and they might start kind of deleting this away. And that can be problematic and Annoying when you have a page with about 20 text editors. You probably won't have that many. But let's say you have got about five or six and you've got to keep doing it. There are many ways you can get rid of it. Okay, so if I go over to content and I go to text, this is the way how lots of us do it, but I'm going to show you a way of how you stop this occurring full stop. I just want to show you the simple way. You go back to your text editor, you go to the text tab, not the visual the text tab. You click at the end of the last paragraph, right at the end, and you hit delete. Now as soon as you do that, that extra spacing disappeared. But at the same time, the spacing between your other paragraph disappeared as well. So you've got to go over to your text editor and just make sure you put a breakpoint in. You might need to put two in if you want to get the space. So now we have the line, the spacing in between the two paragraphs and there is no spacing at the end. And most people go, Eureka, problem solved. But here's the problem. Let's now say later on, while today or tomorrow or next week or wherever, I return back to this text editor and I decide, you know what? I'm gonna change the first line to now say Imran. Can you see what's happened? We now have that line returned again. All I did was touch the top paragraph I go back into text and I've got to do the same thing again. I've got to delete the line, go back to the space between the first and second paragraph and I go BR, BR, there we go. And then imagine I come back again tomorrow or another day and I go, oh, I want to change this now to put my full name. Oh dear, it's happened again. And you go in and you do the same thing. Delete, breakpoint, breakpoint. How many times are you going to keep doing this? And it is annoying. Well, guess what? There is a way to get around this. I am just going to make a bit of a duplicate here. Let me just change the spacing I've got here with this section. Right, so now I have two sections, okay? Both of them have got a text editor in, and you can clearly see, hopefully, just move myself out of the way a little bit, is they've both got the carriage return after the second paragraph, right? If you go to the very top one, or the very first one on your page, or wherever, it doesn't matter, and you go to the Advanced tab, and you go to Custom CSS. You can do this in the Custom CSS bit of your theme. So when you're in your Customize a bit of your theme, you know, Appearance in WordPress, you will then see the word Customize. You can go in and do this there. Or you can do it on the page if you've got Elementor Pro. What you need is this code. Let me just show it to you. So this code 
and I'm just, in fact, I'm going to leave it in here and I'm just going to change the styling just so you can see it, okay? And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Unfortunately, when I try to stick this into YouTube, YouTube doesn't allow it anymore. It doesn't like anything with square or curly brackets. It is deeply annoying. So I'm really, really sorry, but just look at that and copy it down. So it's dot elemental widget text editor p last child margin bottom zero pixel. So have a look, pause the screen, write it down, scribble it down, whatever you want, so you can use it. So what I've done right now is I have, ju I'm just going to copy that. Okay, that's the CSS code. I then go to my first text editor. Again, you can use it on any one of them. It doesn't matter where you do it. I go in. I go to the advanced tab. I then go down to custom CSS and I'm going to paste this in. Now watch what happens to both paragraphs, okay? There is a return in between them and there is a um a space a return space showing at the end of both paragraphs, okay? Watch what happens when I paste this in. It's gone. On both of them. What kind of black magic is this? Right, okay. So I then go over to my first paragraph, or my first text editor. Let's go to content. I'm now going to say Imran Sadiq Web Squad Run. It's not appeared. Can you see that? Let me now go over to this one here as well. This second paragraph here. Let's just add in some random text like that. What it has done though is sorted out the fact that because of the breakpoint breakpoints I added, it did make the return bigger in between the two paragraphs and it's corrected that there. But look, I, you know, I'm just going to, you know, duplicate this one here. You know, I, I can go in and just go, look, it is not adding in that extra return at the bottom. So this is what you use, okay? You go in to your custom CSS on your theme or within Elemental Pro, you stick this in and it will eradicate that extra line spacing at the end. Problem solved. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, please now give me the like, subscribe and take care.